What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here again today. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about I Know What You Did Last Summer in the upcoming Legacy sequel. We'll be talking about Saw X and we'll be talking about Toy Story 5. Now just to kick it off with Scream 6, we now know two songs at least that will be featured in the upcoming soundtrack of Scream 6. Mike Shinoda, who co-founded Linkin Park, has two new songs that will be featured in the soundtrack for Scream 6. He shared this during a recent sit-down with Booker and Stryker for anyone familiar with those two radio hosts. I I'm still going to leave a link in the description to the Instagram post where he says this. One track is titled In My Head. He mentions this blatantly, and it will feature a singer named Kaylee Morg. The most popular track that he did not mention, but is pretty much confirmed at this point, is a track that will feature Demi Lovato that he seems to have writing credits on, along with Demi as well, who wrote the song too. Now, my interpretation so far is that this track will be Demi singing by herself. This track is reportedly titled Still Alive. Her friend actually ended up quote tweeting uh, something that let us know it was actually legitimate and that she was going to be featured in the soundtrack of Scream 6, but they quickly deleted the tweet. As you can see, if you're someone who's in some of the group chats that I know I'm in on Twitter, there was a tweet that her friend put out but he's quickly deleted it i'm very eager to hear this song with demi more than the other ones simply because demi was a big part of mine and i know many of your guys' childhoods during her disney days lincoln park was also part of my childhood but not as much as demi <laughs> she was in this witness protection program movie with selena gomez on disney she was in sunny with a chance she did camp rock and camp rock 2 so I'm eager to hear this new song from her more so than the uh, Mike Shinoda track with Kaylee Morg. I am a big Linkin Park fan. I grew up with them. But who else do you guys think will be featured in the soundtrack of Scream 6? I will say that stuff like this is definitely also going to help out with the box office too, depending on how these artists market their songs. Because you know how stands will go see a movie just to hear a song from their favorite artist. That is a thing. <laughs> so just to jump into Saw X, Saw X has officially wrapped filming. Kevin Grudert, who we know is directing the upcoming film, took to Twitter to announce that Saw X has wrapped filming, put out just reps shooting on saw x and though the challenges were huge it was one of the most rewarding and epic experiences of my life cast and crew were firing on all cylinders he also went on to apparently say he hopes that we can use the title saw x because this chapter really gets back to the roots of what makes saw so special to me and everyone else who loves john kramer's saga we know tobin bell is going to be back as jigsaw john kramer shawnee smith is back as amanda as well no major plot specifics were revealed during this tweet that he put out, but Saw X is expected to be a movie set in between the first and second film with John traveling to Mexico. What are you most excited for related to Saw X? I will say this. Cinestealth over on Twitter has actually teased that there may be a few other surprises besides just John and Amanda that are back for Saw X. This one is expected to be a John Kramer centric story, mostly told from his point of point of view. We'll be dealing with John more than we've ever have in the past is what I'm expecting. It's going to be mostly told through his eyes and we'll spend a lot of the majority of this film with John. My biggest hope, like I've said in many of my other videos talking about Saw X, is that this is just a good send off for the character of John Kramer. And it's a good send off and a great way to celebrate and wrap up what Tobin Bell has contributed to this franchise since it first debuted back in 2004. I don't think that we need to continue doing any sequels that are featuring John Kramer after this, but something tells me that they might be forced to either accept that they messed up when they killed him in Saw 3 or just you know go go forward and and take they will take those l's where they may fall because you can't keep using tobin tobin's story needs to be wrapped up i'm gonna jump into this i know what you did last summer small report on that sarah michelle geller seems to know that her character helen shivers definitely cannot return as an alive individual in the upcoming i know what you did last summer sequel when asked about a return as helen in this sequel, during a recent interview with Vogue, Geller said this in response to possibly returning as a twin of Helen or in general, I guess. She said it's not a soap opera. The only way I would come back would be as the director's best friend behind the scenes. When Jen, referencing Jennifer Love Hewitt, told me she wanted to do it, I was like, I'm dead. And she was like, but I'm like, I'm dead. We landed on I'm dead. <laughs> so she seems to be very content with being dead. Um, she's not interested in, it sounds like in reviving this character in any fashion. 
Helen isn't coming back to life. We would love that. But the fact is she did die and we need to leave her dead. That does not mean, however, that Helen cannot still be featured in some type of nostalgic matter with Geller reprising the role. I'd be down to see something like that. Keep it short and simple. I even said that's something I know many fans would love to see during my initial report on the topic of this upcoming I Know What You Did Last Summer legacy sequel that we know is coming. I think that uh, Sarah Michelle Geller is going to be back i'm going to put out a bold prediction and say i think she is going to be back in some capacity in the upcoming film she's not going to be alive i have even seen the idea tossed around of what if they were to ignore certain portions of the first movie and completely ignore the second one and just make helen alive i wouldn't be down for that uh, but i do think that she will be back in some capacity i think what she's mostly referring to is not coming back to life because she she's very content it sounds like with her character being dead so that makes me happy to know because i don't i don't think that they need to make her alive i do think that she needs to appear in some fashion though so just to conclude this by talking about toy story 5 this isn't horror related at all. Well, depending on how you look at it, maybe it is a scary topic for you. <laughs> but I am a big Toy Story fan. Toy Story 5 has been announced. Tim Allen has confirmed that he will be back to voice Buzz Lightyear in a recent tweet. But the biggest question everyone has about this so far, from what I've seen, me included, is why are we getting this? Well, obviously, financially, no one is showing up for the original IPs. So this is what happens. This is a business still at the end of the day, and it's about making profit. So if we tell them that you see this with all the other franchises too, Scream is no different. If we tell them that sequels are profitable, then we get sequels we probably are sick of. But our pockets say otherwise. That is what is being evaluated the most. What are you saying with your pocket? You're saying that you're not tired of this, but you don't want any original content because a lot of the original content that comes out from Disney, it just doesn't do that well as the sequels. So that's how we end up in situations like this. Now, narratively, what else would you do? I loved Toy Story 4. But even there, I felt as though that wasn't completely all that necessary when the original trilogy seemed to conclude just fine with Woody's journey and lessons he learned through the other toys that helped him accept their fate that came at the end of three when the toys were left with Bonnie. So his arc was finished in three to me and many others. I'm still going to watch five, but I'm just very blah on this announcement overall. Are you excited for Toy Story 5? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.